These are the 10 golden rules of database secondary data internal assessment. Here we go. How many students waste so much time pontificating, prevaricating, worrying about what's my research question? What am I going to study? What am I going to study? And then they find something and you know what? They can't find data to fit the research question. So screw it up, throw it in the bin. Bye-bye. Bye-bye research question. Let it go, as they say on Frozen. Just look at some data. Look at some data. You'll find some new stuff as you go along. Then at the end, make your research question. That's the way to go. You have no idea, no idea what to do. So go use one of those lovely simulations that I gave links to in slide number one. Play with it, make it happen. Guess what? It's a chemical reaction. It has reactants, it has products. Guess what you can do? Energetics. Just do some energetics on top of the simulation. Work out what the entropy change would have been or compare it with what you got from the simulation. You're well on the way to an excellent IA. Just begin. You are sat there still thinking, there's nothing that I can do. Well, there is. Can you use a computer? Yes, you can. Can you build a database? Yes, you can. Can you build a spreadsheet? Yes, you can. Can you build a spreadsheet of data? and predict a molecule's uh, bond angle, or electronegativity, or surface area, or dipole moment, or the list is infinite. Yes, if you have computer skills, harness that. You are not restricted to simulations and databases. What is NIST? NIST is a compendium of many of the databases, all joined together in beautiful harmony so we as chemists can look at it and harvest data from it. So if all you can find is NIST, NIST is not all that you have found. You've actually found a robust set of data. So look underneath, scroll to the bottom of the screen on your NIST um, database, uh, whichever molecule you're looking at, find out what they used and use that in your bibliography. In fact, research it, look it up, personal engagement, right there. not worry about safety, ethical, environmental, but if you can find in any way, shape or form some vague, tenuous link to some safety, environmental, ethical, include it. And even, just in case your moderator is brand new and eager to please and going by that cookie cutter approach to moderation, just put, there were no safety, ethical or environmental considerations within this internal assessment, then they will understand. Leave the moderator no room for manoeuvre. Perspective on the whole IA. Let's look at the traditional route. 20% of your grade is your internal assessment. That means, let's say you get zero on your internal assessment. Very unlikely. In fact, in five years of moderating, I've only had that happen once in moderating over 100 IAs a year. So let's get say you get zero. That means you have to be an exam monster and do it 80%, so 100% on all of your exams. That's 80%, so that's a level seven every year if you're an exam monster. If not, then even if you write an introduction, do some research, write some method, write some variables, write some um, data treatment, have a go at uncertainties, write a conclusion evaluation, you're still going to get the average mark for an IA, which is between 12 and 18, which is between a 4 and a 6. That's all it is, okay? The IA can make the difference between certainly a 4 and a 6 or a 5 and a 7, so it's best for you to maximise that grade. But keep it in perspective. It is just an IA. 
It is just your diploma. And six months after doing the first year of university, you ask all those kids who got 45 points on the IB any questions on their higher level chemistry, most of the things they will have forgotten. Keep it in perspective. It is for now. It's not forever. Do your best. Straight from the May 2020 examiner's report, students using statistical approaches such as ANOVA tests or standard deviation that were not justified by the low number of collected values. So therefore, if you're not using, getting around 20, 25 values, don't even bother with fancy statistical analysis. You're not going to get rewarded for it. That's not Mr. Midgley. That's straight from the examiner's report. Listen to that. Uncertainty is the only way to get the top bands on analysis and evaluation and certainly can impact your personal engagement and communication. So how are you going to get the top bands? I could do a video on this. I already have. Go and find the uncertainties video on my internal assessment playlist. The halfway method rocks. The last decimal place ticks the box. Choose your method, run with it. Good luck. Well done, you got to number one, congratulations. Number one is, you are number one. Cheesy, but true. We are living in turbulent times. It's very important to look after yourself. Your personal health comes first, your well-being comes first. Do the things that make you happy. Do the best on your IA. It's not the end of the world. Remember that perspective slide. The fact that you're even here shows you are committed and a really top level student. Okay, best of luck with your IA. Keep going, you'll get there. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Smash that subscribe button, show your appreciation. Thank you very much indeed. Have a great day.